fresh cut sweet potato fries in an air fryer with a sriracha seasoning on them and a dipping sauce you won't soon forget. I'm John Sanders, also known as Jelly 007. Let's get this started. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is make French fries. And uh, what I'm going to use will be a half inch uh, French fry. And uh, that's perfect. It's what we've always used here on sweet potatoes, Idaho potatoes and all. Now, at the end of the video, if you want to hear my opinion on these two devices and why I have them both sitting out here, I'll explain that then. And there's no need in going into it now because all I want to do right now, we're going to get these cut up. I will say, if you don't have one of these, cut a flat spot on the bottom where you can sit it on your cutting board real flat and then try and get as close to half inch slicing in this, you know, in this direction. And then you flip them, once they're sliced, you lay it over on the side and you do it again. And you end up with the same thing you get out of this half inch uh, cutter right there. So like I said, at the end of the video, watch if you want to hear my opinion on these and why on a 30, this one's 30 years old and uh, how much I believe in them. But I'm going to get those cut up and I'll be right back. Okay, there, there are the half inch potatoes and they are perfect. Now, I'm not going to lie, potatoes, sweet potatoes are hard and they're kind of hard to cut and, and you could do it with a knife just like I explained earlier, just as easy. I pushed it pretty, I had to set this in the floor, honestly, to get those through. Now, at the end of the video, I show one of these I do up on the counter and they do a white potato with no problem. Just wanted to explain that. These are hard to push through. I'm not making a I'm not going <laughs> to discount that. Now, I'm about to put this in this bag, in this bag right here, a few of them. I'm not using all of them. I don't need all of those. That's two potatoes. And then I'm going to squirt this right here on it. So I'll show you what that looks like in just a second, and I'll be back. Okay, so here's what I found works best and for what we like. Now, they can get a little heated the longer you leave them sitting in here. But there's, I'm going to leave these right here out. And that's, like I said, that's two potatoes. I counted them. I think it's, tw I'm almost positive it's 26 pieces of, uh, of sweet potato. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm going to put enough in here to cover those up. I'm going to squirt it on there. Straight sriracha. Nothing but. And then I'm going to close that bag up. And if that's not enough, I'll add more. But like I said, I'm using straight sriracha hot chili sauce. So, you know, you, you, you keep it in mind. It can, it can get hot the longer you, you uh, keep it there. But all I'm gonna do is this right here, roll it around and determine whether I need to add more. I don't think I will, but the main thing is, is to get some sriracha on those uh, sweet potato french fries. Now I'm going to let them sit just a minute. So I think that's going to be good, though, right there, the amount I put in there. And I, I wouldn't know where to put that. That might be uh, a tablespoon and a half, we'll say. So anyhow, I'm going to let that sit just a second, and we're going to do the next step. I'll be back. All right, so it's been about, I don't know, four, four or five minutes. And you can see I, there's not a lot of excess left. I put only enough to cover them. But a key thing, and this is, like I said, it's what, I, what I've found works best, is that they do a lot better if you put, a, they brown a lot better if you put some type of oil. I always use avocado, and I've never tried anything else, but just a little bit of oil in there, and I'm going to say uh, half a tablespoon. And I'm going to mix that. I'm going to close this back up. I'm going to mix up. Uh, just make sure they all get coated with some oil in the same bag. Now, I, I think you, if you're wondering why I did it separate, because if you put the oil in first, I don't think the sweet potatoes absorb the sriracha as well. So I'm just going to mix this up right here. And all I'm going to do is get is open this up and keep from keep doing that noisy stuff. I'm going to get as many French fries on here as I can with a you know a little bit of space between them, and uh, double stacked on the because I'm using the Ninja Foodie Deluxe. So uh, and you can by the way you can buy this separate and use it in any eight quart Ninja Foodie. So I'm gonna get that started, get them laid out, spaced apart. We're gonna get these going. I'll be back. To kind of explain what's going on without all this running, I'm gonna tell you what I'm fixing to do right now. There there is everything that was in that bag. 
which is pretty much two potatoes, uh, two sweet potatoes. Now I'm going to set those in and I'm going to run it at 390. I'm going to set it for 20 minutes, but I'll be using my thermopen and looking for 200 degrees because that's what sweet potatoes are done at, somewhere around 200 degrees in the center of that, of that fry. Now, this right here, I've done it a couple of times, and I've got that's why I've got more out than one pack. This is eight ounces of cream cheese. Uh, this right here, Philadelphia cream cheese, and uh, one jar of this. That is what I will start with. Now, it's look and feel, and if I feel like it's too loose, like I've had it before, or too thick, I got more to add if I need to. Now, I ain't got to tell you, I hope, but you can add whatever you want to to this mixture, and it goes great with vegetables. I mean, apples, uh, I say vegetables, I didn't mean vegetables, I meant apples and fruits. It does well with those. And I use this to mix it up. And uh, I guess you could do it with a spoon, but I'm gonna use that. So here we go, we're gonna get this started right now. We're gonna be looking for, like I said, around 200 degrees. Set it in right here. I'm gonna leave it just like it is right there. Hit start, we're off and running. I'm fixing to put that and that in there and mix it up with that. Be back. One jar of that and one package of that. And here's what you get. And this is all I've done to it was mix it up just like that. And I'm going to set it in the refrigerator. I think it might be better cool, but you know what? It really doesn't matter. This right here is uh, the perfect consistency <laughs> And uh, it's going to work with a lot of things really, really well. Your guests are going to be impressed. I might have put a quarter of a teaspoon of that in there. You could go more, but you can see I, there's a little bit of color in there. That's what it's from. Okay, we're coming up on 15 minutes. And quite honestly, I think they're about done. I can smell them. I checked them a minute ago. Let's see where they are. Well, I can turn it where you can see it. 202. So, oops, I ran out the back side of that one. We'll check this one where I don't go out the back side. And that is 205, 206. That's perfect. So what I'm going to do is pull those out, let them sit right here and rest just a minute. Got to find my, here they are. And then we're going to transfer them over here, let them cool off, and see what they taste like. I'll be right back. Okay, so they've sat there for about two minutes. I'm just going to move them to right here and uh, get them laid out a little bit. We're going to do some taste testing. So, yo, hold on. Like I said, that right there is going to be uh, what anybody will love, and, that, and that's with fruits and everything. Okay, there is the finished product. I laid it out here where I could make some pretty pictures of it, but take my word. That is a perfectly cooked uh, sweet potato french fry, fresh cut. And the sriracha works excellent. I mean, obviously, you know it's there. It's got a good flavor. Uh, this Almost, <laughs> other than these, the star of the show, this right here. And simple, eight ounces of uh, cream cheese and, eight, and whatever it was, seven ounces of the uh, marshmallow cream. Sweet potato pie. I've said it before. I think that's what it reminds me of. And with that sriracha, it is excellent. So, hey, thank you all for watching the video. I've got the one. I've got one coming up. I mean, the part that's after this is where I kind of show the uh, potato cutter. I didn't want to put that in here, make it longer than it already is. So, I'm going to add that at the end. And it'll just be me cutting those white potato and just discussing those uh, potato cutters I had in case you wanted to know, maybe want to get one. Hey, I love y'all all. Y'all come back to see me. Try this recipe. Let me know what you think. Y'all have a good night. Bye-bye. All right, so this is the part I want to explain about these two devices. And I, I've been doing French fries and I mean pretty much Idaho or white potato French fries at this house for many, many years. Not only here, deer camps we had, I've probably owned uh, five or six of these. I don't know how many. And the reason is, is because, and, and this means a lot with a sweet potato, sweet potatoes are hard. 
They're hard to push through. All right, well, the thing about that is this plastic liner, and I learned this the hard way. That's why I've owned so many, but this one has hung around for many, many years. It has a metal frame. Now, you can purchase it wherever you want to. They're 100 bucks. If you want a good one, you're going to spend around 100 bucks. That's just, I mean, that's my opinion. I haven't bought one in quite a while. I think I gave 75 or so for this one, though. That is a quarter-inch cut right there. We rarely use it. We always use a half inch, even in a white potato. Now, and I think this is just as good. I mean, it's, it's important to make a half inch potato. The thing is, even with a white potato, which is nowhere near as hard as these, if you're not standing there, and this is a sad truth, and you say, you sit, tell somebody, you know, what I used to always say for years, I said, go shuck me a potato. Go shuck me some potatoes and get them ready. And, we, you know, you send out whoever, you know, well, they put them in there and they don't understand slow down. And this one will stand, don't slow down. This one won't. If the potato gets in there sideways or even if it don't, if they just uh, do that, they're going to push these blades out of that plastic. So all I'm saying is if you're purchasing one of these and I want to I try and say anything I can that helps my subscribers, Look for the metal frame. That at least keeps them from cracking out here, which I've had several of them do. But even then, you still want to baby them out and make sure they're lined up because a lot of times, you know as well as I do, some potatoes are bigger. Well, if they hit, you know, if the potato doesn't line up or if it's too big and they hit out here, it's not going to go. You know what I mean? So, but if you, certain people don't look for that. They just go crushing. They want to get that potato out. And, and I've had many of them broke. I'm not complaining. They've paid for themselves in enjoyment I've had over the years at deer camps and here at my house. They're well worth the money they cost. I promise you, you'll love them if you buy one. But I don't have a link on my page, and I never have. But what I'm about to do is, is slice these up. So that's what this is about. So I just wanted to say that. Look for the metal frame and don't watch so hard on the money they cost. Don't try and save too much. And if, if you do, make sure that at least they don't have that. But anyhow, I'm going to get these cut up. Okay, so I just to show it, and, and, and it's at the end of the video, so I, I, I'm taking a little more time than I need. But I washed those with my scotch Bright method, by the way. You've seen me use it or you just hold them under running water and uh, you can clean a potato or a lot of vegetables. And I'm pretty much gonna just waste this potato, but that's because I want you to see, you know, what to expect with a regular, uh, if you're making regular French fries. It, it, these are a little different. You gotta treat them a little different, but I wanted to show you, you know, in case you want one of these, that's all this is about. But you just get on it right there. And if, if it was mounted to the wall, that's even better, but you can see. Now, a sweet potato is a little harder than that. It's not that easy, but you can see what you can make. Again, they're worth the $100 you'll spend on them, and they make perfect French fries every time. Even if you're deep fat frying, uh, you'll not regret buying one. I, I just, I, I tell you that. <laughs> they make some of the best French fries we've ever had around here. So I, I just wanted to show you that. I'm going to get that cleaned up, and then we're going to try and run one of those through, maybe.